are back. Uh, back in effect, this is the Weekly News. I'm Eliza, your host with the hard-hitting facts that hold you after. With me, as always, is my compadre, Alexis, small tequila shot archer. <laughs> Teeny tiny tequila shot. And oh, with me is Super Producer Brian Grammo. Woohoo! No? What? Okay. He's not taking Oh, sorry, Jared. Sorry, Brian's not taking <laughs> calls. And we have a special <laughs> guest today. Joining me, good friend, fellow comedian, ex-skid row drummer, and ex-cast member of Sex, uh, sex Rehab with Dr. Drew on VH1 and the producer of the Sex Stand Up Rock and Roll Show, wildly popular show at the Hollywood Improv. Please put your hands together for Phil Verone. Thank Woo! you. Yay! And Blanche. Oh. Uh, I That's just want to say. That's it. You, you, thank <laughs> so, you for coming. All right, see you guys. Have a good time. <laughs> I just want to see say Hava Nagila says, uh, Holy Batman, that was a long intro. Our intros are getting a little longer. You never know what credit he's going to want. What's your favorite credit of all the ones you have? Don't make it gross. Me? Uh, no, I don't know. Hold the dog up to make yourself more okay. likable. I, Blanche, hi. Um, I, I don't know. It Does, is, doesn't no. matter. All right. I was a huge rock star for 16 years, so there. Huge there rock go. star, Phil Verone, yes. with the tattoos to prove it and stories. Big stories. Big stories. I've been telling Blanche stories. A little weird. Uh, speaking of rock stars, I want to give a shout out to people who uh, put their screen name as Alexis Archer Rules and Alexis Runs the Show. Uh, oh, speaking of you. shout outs, I'd like to block <laughs> those people in the chat rooms. Uh, Phil Verone is actually with us today for two reasons. One, we're friends. And two, he has an announcement. I do. What am I going to announce today? Hmm. It's up to you. Well, yeah. I'm going to have a show here on the stream.tv. Thank Yay! you very much. Yes. Welcome to the family. Yes, yes. Yeah. Once I do my uh, VD Barbie line, I'm going to come out here and do the stream.tv. My show is called The Master Debater with Phil Verone. Thank you very much. That is awesome. And yes. what, will, what will be the show The show will be about? Debating topics? We're gonna, it's going to be like a, um, uh, a town hall type meeting. I got comics, I got musical guests, and we're going to debate everything. We're Great. We're going to talk about everything. The viewers, you guys are going to, uh, you're going to write in. You're going to ask us questions. You can interview the guest. We have huge guests, of course. And um, we're going to have some fun. So. Great. Yeah. Now back to my show, the reason we're all here. And I will beat you in the ratings. Ratings Ooh. war! You yes. heard it today. This is a SmackDown. And I can do it with my pants on, by the way, because yeah. we watch this for the hard-hitting facts. Yes. That's right. Well, this show has integrity, not just VD clips and rock star juice. Know this. Okay. I'm just saying. All right, my arm's falling back. asleep. I'm going to put Blanche down. All right, that's your choice. Last shot. Say oh. bye, Blanche. Bye, everyone. You guys, okay. uh, this is everybody knows that we watch this show for the charisma, not for the facts. If you want facts, <laughs> you can watch Nightline. Is that show even on anymore? Dateline! Dateline! Just, what happened? What, we're gone for a week and no one does it. Dateline's off the air? No. Dateline! Uh, Dateline! Dateline! The Olympics, and I was saying earlier, I'm actually proud that we're doing Olympic news because normally I completely ignore current events and I just talk about furry animals and things that make me excited. So, Vancouver, British Columbia, Goaltender Ryan Miller and Jonathan Quick have to cover stickers or remove them from their helmets. Ryan Miller has one that says Miller Time because it's a beer. And then there's one sticker on one of their helmets that says Support Our Troops. Uh, spokesman for the International Ice Hockey Federation confirmed both players will be told to take the messages off their equipment. Um, also, they're not allowed to have advertising uh, in the Olympic game. But also, it's going to be super awkward when the U.S. faces Team Afghanistan. And that's the sticker on their helmet. Oh, what does this mean? What's on your helmet? Oh, it's nothing. The Americans will play their first game at the Olympics on Tuesday against Switzerland, who, you know, based on their history, really shouldn't have a problem with anything. <laughs> Read a book. Um, <laughs> Read can a I book. say something Olympics-related? Only if it's political. Only if it has to do with America being oh. able to say support our troops. Uh, Okay, what is it? a small American I know that is related to me, my niece, is going to the Olympic training camp uh, for soccer in like two months. She's, she's hot. Ten. She's oh, ten. Sorry. <laughs> uh, she was like chosen out of like. She's four given people. a scholarship. She's like the only goalie of her age in the United States that gets to go. Doesn't it make you feel like a like a loser when like yes. a little kid's done more athletically at ten yeah. than you Not have ever? Not even athletically, but she has accomplished her dream already. <laughs> do you play sports? E even bands do that now. These kids are um, what they're what, you're washed up when you're like eighteen. Is it, in, yeah, in bands yeah. Now. Look at Hanson. It's ridiculous. But no, like all these bands with the Jonas Brothers and this kid. I saw this kid on. Um, are they washed up? Well, I don't know. 
but they're like young, aren't they? Well, like one of them's or married, they're so fine. he can have sex. Yeah. Yeah, one of them just got married, which and is gross. There was some kid on the Today Show that was uh, playing a guitar, and the guitar was bigger than him, but he sold like 15 million records. Already. But was it a bass guitar? It was not a bass guitar. Well, it was see, a, if there's one thing, it was I an know. acoustic. Oh. Yes. Uh, if there's one thing I hate, it's live acoustic music. No offense. To, I know you play the drums, but I can't stand live music. I can't ever listen to it. It's loud. <laughs> it's, sorry. Is that awkward? I shouldn't have said that. So you came window. to our concerts, is what you're saying? No, I don't. I don't think I was old enough. Boom! Wow! You started this. I still would have had sex with you. Hey! -o. All right. Deadline! I'm not going to hit you. Mother-in-law <laughs> move in. President Barack Obama, he's the black one, uh, his mother-in-law has lived her entire life in Chicago, so it was only natural for her to move to the White House uh, because that's what mother-in-laws do. Um, she decided to try it for three months, and it turns out she loves it. She spends a lot of time looking after her granddaughters, Malia and Sasha, and she's begun carving, carving out a new life for herself in Washington. In the words of the president, he said, she's become quite the lady about town. Doesn't that mm. make her sound like a prostitute? Ooh. No, I don't think so much. Lady a prostitute. about town, like Lady of the Night is a prostitute. Oh, that was what he said. Sorry, he did not she call her a Lady whatever. of the she Night. She goes out on dates. She really, you, and she's quite a looker. Let's get a picture of uh, Michelle Obama's mom. Do we have one? There it is. Oh, yeah, that's a <laughs> wow. handsome woman right there. She uh, has seen shit. God, Zooks. <laughs> um, um, I want to say I, I thought I it was say great that you were like. Uh, she moved into the White House and she's liking it quite much, quite a lot. Yeah, the White House. It's like, oh, I moved into a house on the beach on Santa Monica and I'm adjusting quite well. Look who, to look, here's the, I actually misread it. She actually didn't want to move in, but that's not oh. the story. She didn't want to move in? Uh, she didn't want didn't to move in to she call you out. The point of the story is I had a picture of Morgan Freeman. That's the <laughs> point of the story. That's, that's the, the story. Bit. Right there. That's the bit. That's the meat of it. Uh, M. That's Rick. the button. Mrick twenty five two says Morgan Freeman. Woo! All right, if you're not gonna reconstruct it, <laughs> just watch him in the bucket list. Did you see that? I didn't. The last thing I saw of his was Shawshank Redemption. That's a good movie. It's one of the best. Yes. All right. The show is slowly taking a turn for the worse. This was a mistake. All right, doing a show today. Dateline. <laughs> Let's try it again. It's like I'm completely alone. There's like no one in here but me. You want to start over? Uh, no. Skeeter that Alex would just make wants, this longer. Okay. Skeeter Alex wants to know if there's a McDonald's story this week. Uh, I just got iced tea from McDonald's. Did you? That's a story. Did, uh, you, did you punch them in the face well, yeah. afterwards? <laughs> what he's referring to is the ridiculous number of violent stories related to people not getting their orders in a timely fashion at McDonald's almost every week. We've been on about four shows where people have just lost their shit when McDonald's is out of nuggets or got the wrong order. <clears throat> so there's not something in the water this week. People have been behaving fine. Well, actually, I, I, I had an issue at McDonald's this week. I'd like to hear it. Well, I went in the drive-thru and I ordered three hamburgers. And they gave me three double cheeseburgers. Well, first they gave me a chicken sandwich. Then they gave me three double cheeseburgers. So then I drove around and I peeled out in the parking lot, backed up the car, went in there and threw the bag at the guy. Did you really? Yes, I did, actually. And they went, God, that guy needs to get laid. He's from sex rehab and he's pissed off. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's a story. People, I think it's the MSG, it makes people violent. I have a very short fuse with all workers in general. Like today I went and I bought a pair of, uh, it was, we bought a pair of thigh high boots, which were uh, inappropriately, I have very short deer haunches as we all know. So they really come up to like my collarbone. And they were like, they're pleather. And they were like, we give you price 130. And the lady was like, oh, it's good price because in mall it's 200. And I was like, it's fucking pleather. You're not, and plus the price tag's in shekels, so let's not act like negotiating is going to be your strong point here. Uh, can we see those haunches? Oh, yeah. No, oh, my mistake. <laughs> you can't mention haunch without showing some haunch. You paid $130 for those socks? For these socks? Well, they're from American Apparel. Well, so well with there their, you go, right with there. With their strict labor laws. What I just want to know is why can't they get the order right? That's what it at all McDonald's? comes down to. Yeah, Look who's working it's, at it's, McDonald's! It's but that's the future of America, and if they can't get the order right, that's like you then, said. Then, then, what, what, are the, what do we, what do we have to look forward to? You can't get a hamburger, right? Sociology geek agrees with you and says they need to be paying attention and doing their jobs correctly. Uh, Damn it! Stop! Yeah. Absolutely not. If I worked at McDonald's, I would be drunk and stoned the entire time. That's like saying I went to a retarded school and I want to know why these kids can't get numbers in the right order. Oh, because you're dealing with retards. You work at McDonald's. It's not exactly you're a road scholar. And you pay for what you but, ask but, for. What happened that made people that work at McDonald's turn into that? Like no, what, you know, they'll tell you that, society what, what happened. What that job like? What made that job be like the worst job on the planet? Uh, because they weren't hiring at the strip club. 
Oh, what made the worst job on the planet? Yeah, because everybody says, I don't want to, like, even music, musicians are like, well, you know, where's that musician at? He's like, well, he's probably at McDonald's now. Uh, because you, local places, the, their joke won't fly. You can be like, he's probably at Al's Big and Tall Burger. You'd be like, <laughs> where's that? McDonald's is gross because there's grease in the air and it takes, you need one brain cell to flip a burger. Uh, Joe hot. Bluth 99 says, minimum wage is what made them turn on society. Ah. What is minimum wage these days? It's eight seventy-five. That's a, you know that's a good paycheck. Is it? Yeah. Eight seventy-five. Yeah. Let's see. But you work tax went up to ten percent. Ten-hour day, so that's about what's that? A little less than one sixty. Oh my God, that's a lot of money. Ten-hour days at eight dollars? That's eighty bucks. No, if it's eight seventy-five. Oh, eight seventy-five. I can't do math. I'm yeah, an artist. Yeah, so it's like eighty-seven dollars. Eighty-seven. Yeah, that's horrible. Yeah, plus you, then you take Where taxes out. Where did you get 160? <laughs> because I just doubled it. I figured I rounded up 75 to 9. I figured because I would I be like the good kind of worker. I <laughs> I made $40,000 a year as a, as a receptionist. I did 50000 a year in cocaine. <laughs> Eliza, That's L. Sad. Stillman. That puts things into perspective yeah. for both of us. What? L. Stillman says hi. Big Tell, fan. Lindsay Stillman, uh, known me since I was about four years old. Lindsay, Aww. thanks for watching. Don't you have a real job <laughs> to be doing? Lindsay's a producer. You auditioned for a commercial. Oh, I Emma? did. And they air it all the time, and I didn't get it. Didn't yeah, get thanks, it? thanks for nothing, oh, Lindsay. Oh, boy. Not true. Thank you for the opportunity. Funny story, true story. Lindsay was a guest on the show because we had no guests that week. But Lindsay and I, while most girls were out sleeping with boys and drinking, Lindsay would come over to my house late at night, and we would go to Tom Thumb and buy turkey and other deli meats and make big sandwiches at my house. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to tell a lesbian story. Nope. The Boo. meat joke stopped there. Uh, true story about Eliza. She force feeds everyone. A I'm Don't a giving trip. person. Don't tease me. Dateline. Dateline. Oh, Dateline. Which event has the hottest players? We're going to be bringing you um, more up to date. Here's the thing. Everybody, here's the thing. We have the Olympics. And everyone wants to talk about the Olympics. Um, I can promise you this. As the anchor of the Weekly News and the creator of the Weekly News, don't, don't stare me down. Soon to be crushed in the ratings. Soon to be skyrocketing the in the ratings. Debater. And leaving with you in Phil the Varone. dust with your tattoos to cry in. Alrighty. We're gonna be bringing out more up-to-date coverage starting with a 24-hour feed, beat that, about curling, America's favorite sport. Ooh. We have a new segment about this show that we like to call, Look at These Assholes. Look at these assholes, picture number 01. This is the Norwegian curling team. Oh my God, that's wow. real? Yeah, that's Those not clown college, that's not a golf tournament. Those are good looking pants though. Those are good looking pants. As pants go. So this is the Norwegian team. This is the American curling team. And we have a picture of the Italian curling team. Boom! Hey! <laughs> hey! That's you are pretty, welcome. That's pretty good. Bob Bennett. Here's, here's how not respectful <laughs> curling is as a sport. Even the, This is a direct quote. Even the head of the curling team was heard to say, I learned a long time ago not to take it personal when someone makes fun of curling. If you look at home, and this is for you, that's funny, like the fact that you know that your sport sucks, and then he says, Alexa, you should listen to this. If you look at Homer and Marge, I think they're the quintessential curlers. That's pretty much what curlers are, right? They make fun of themselves, drink beer, and eat donuts. Mm. It's pretty uh, much all Nordic countries. That's funny, because The Simpsons actually did an episode that I watched yesterday about curling, and Marge went to the Olympics, but then broke her arm. I just saw a story on Real Sports with uh, Brian Gumble about yeah. curling. What do you know? What do I know it's is, essentially is that mopping the, on ice. That the uh, American, with a broom. the Sweeping. the, the USA, the USA curling team makes nineteen thousand dollars a year. Cumulative? Th that, uh, like each one or like the team? Yeah, yeah, like each one. And that Canada, in curling in Canada, is like God, where the actual the guy who makes the ice is actually in the Hall of Fame. He's promised 72 virgins. He, he has a shuffle where he <laughs> shuffles on the ice. And the, uh, the guys, the training, they, they went to the, the, um, the American house where they, they train at, and they were all eating McDonald's and uh, just crappy food, and you they know, live in, with bunk beds. What's ironic about that? The McDonald's workers athletes. are rubbing it in their faces being like, we make more than you do a year. Basically. Screw <laughs> so you and your 19 grand. So. Here's the thing about Canada. They have so much snow there, they need to find creative ways to fuck with it. So they're like, oh, how about we vacuum the snow? Yeah. Well, how about we iron it? Except during the Olympics right now so because much. it's warm and there's no snow there. There's snow in Vancouver. Well, no, they, they stopped the skiing because of the there's no snow. That's not true. Um, that is very true. That's not true. They postponed it, absolutely. Why didn't you tell me this? Don't you watch the news? The Canadian here. No, I don't watch yeah. the news. This oh, is yeah. the weekly is, news. You're from Canada? Very nice. There's, why well, didn't you tell me this? Say, We've been, for all day, and you didn't mention this? That's why I was, I'm here. They're, so deceptive, they're, they're deceptive countrymen with beady eyes. Uh, your father I don't figure, like the flames anymore. Your father figure says, do they pronounce curling different in Canada? Let's ask a Canadian. Canadian? 
How, do they pronounce welcome. curling different in Canada? Curling. 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 From an actual Canadian, curling. ladies and gentlemen. Ugh, we have to talk later. <laughs> Here's the thing. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, sometimes we get really personal on this show, and I've actually obtained, <laughs> since everyone seems to like Alexis so much. There are people who are turning on I, me because they I should. have fans. Yeah, you, they should, because she's not nice. And I just want to tell you something. I actually have exclusive, in-depth footage of what happens after Alexis farts. Roll the video! <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't burn that! Don't burn that! Is that your boyfriend screaming? <laughs> Alexis that is my family right All right, that's life. enough. We're good. That's Even a, yelling in Italian is still a beautiful language. That looks like yeah. a dump, actually. <laughs> that's a nice dump. You made me into a giant. Like, I'm just like, arr. One, arr. you had one. <laughs> Take it easy. That's, she's wrecking a giant. That looks like a dump, like, after you drink a bottle of Crown Royale. You get the oil slick. Ooh, I would Gross. Yeah. That's a rock star story. Yes. Well, I got a lot of this. Well, is you're telling that joke. Who's going to be like, yeah, after a bottle of crap, I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, many people out there, especially your viewing audience. Not mine, yours. My audience? My Are audience. you calling my audience drunk drug addicts? Absolutely. You love it that way. My audience <laughs> enjoys a nice glass of Ovaltine That's and then jerks off to anime. That's why the ratings. I have the drug addict side. Really? Judd Apatow's movies are wildly popular. Why? Because nerds watch them, and nerds watch us. Want to know why? No idea Boobs. why. <laughs> um, I want to say Derek get. underscore H. Derek underscore H says lies. Everybody knows Alexis's farts smell like cinnamon. Mm. Uh, I know it all too well. <laughs> Maybe if you have an Altoid in your mouth. I like the cinnamon Altoids. <laughs> I do, they're curiously cinnamon. Farty. Here's the thing about farting. I'm going to say this since the show's obviously taking yeah. the worst. This is, you never admit to a fart, and I'm gonna tell you why. You don't get honesty points for farting. If I came, if I stole money from you, I'd be like, listen, I stole money from you, I wanna let you know it was me. And you'd be like, oh, thank you for your honesty. No one's gonna be like, hey, I farted. No one's gonna be like, wow, that was really big of you. They're gonna be like, wow, you ate something awful. You, you must be sick. But no, everybody you just farts. blame it I mean, on you your have dog. To, you have to fart, though. That's I mean, that's true. what a relationship's about, farting. I guarantee you, 90% of the women that attend your sex stand of Ron Rogers, they don't fart. Absolutely, I ask them to. But you have to fart. I mean, that's the one thing about relationships, what sucks in the beginning, is that you got to fart. And you can't hold that stuff in. It's really unhealthy for you. You, know? you got to. You hold it in until you get to. My stepdad, to this day, leaves the room. And my parents have been married for like 11 years. No, I just let it rip now. It's like, listen, you know, that's the way it is. Well, I mean, it depends on the kind of person you're with. Alexis? Um, Eliza, you blame your farts on your dog and nobody That's why I it. have a dog. Shut up! <laughs> Every time you do it, I'm like, okay, it's funny that Blanche never farts when you're out of the house and we're just <laughs> hanging out in the house, but all of a sudden it smells like Wendy's. Okay, <laughs> you, know, you moved a mountain with your farts. I love when hot chicks <laughs> fart, though. Uh, this, is just, this is not what the show's about. Oh, Trivia? Okay. You know what this sh All right, fine. Okay! I had a segue for something else, all right. I'm sorry. Go ahead Apparently with your segues. No, 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 it's fine. Take a one week break and everyone gets all high and mighty. <laughs> Do your trivia. Do your I feel like I kind of left trivia. I feel like I kind of left the last episode high and mighty, and I feel like maybe it's, Take it's still there. Okay. Um, okay, trivia. Please write in. You can IM me. The first person I see get the correct answer. I will give them credit. I'm you sorry. Better if I don't see me see then. You. Boo! Yeah, trivia labyrinth. It's amazing. Um, what is the only mobile national monument in the United States? Oscar Mayer Wiener hot dog truck. That is not a national monument. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People I, love nitrate. That is really sad. I would say the Olympic torch. Uh, that's pretty good, but it's not that's the right stupid. answer. That's stupid, and that's not national. It's international. The Olympic torch belongs to everyone. Duh. Yeah. Mm, plaster caster of my dong. I already said the Oscar Mayer Wiener truck. <laughs> Up top. Hello. Oh, Stanford Studios. That's right. He's not here. Oh, yeah. Hi. Oh, no, not that shot. No. No, it's a mom and pop. Uh, Separate studios. I'm live in uh, Vancouver right live now. Live from Burbank. Um, I want to <laughs> no say, snow? as always, Senior Shutter no. got it right. No. It's the San Francisco cable car. What? That's a national monument? Yeah. The cable Absol car? Is? Oh, a monument to what? On. Mobility? No, to San Francisco. It's like yet. the symbol of San Francisco. I thought the bridge oh. was. Like the Washington Monument. That was a fart, but out of my mouth. Yes, that's that's... <laughs> The fart that took the elevator, as they say. The fart that melted the snow in Vancouver. Hello. Fine, do another piece of trivia. Or, great old dance party! Oh. Trivia it is. I told you about this. I told you about this. Yeah, I told you about this. Okay. Who's running the production? Alexis is working her ass off and it's stuck. Wow. I mean, 
Boo. You know what's a shame? No one saw you dancing just now. I know. I worked the middle I was so the controller hard. Stopped. I was doing the robot that they had uh. me. Grand old dance party! Again? I'm fast for a crazy. Ryan and I just had sex. I just, I just cheated. Normally, I'm a cheater. You know what it is? I'm actually really insecure about how pale I am. So I don't <laughs> want to get up. I'm really, I'm like pink, like a newborn hamster with puffy eyes. You didn't get to the tanning bed today? No, not today. I skipped my mm. my bi-weekly appointment. Mm. It feels be, weird to me no that Bri Brian is at a point where he can just run into the room and dance. I thought he was coming in <laughs> to yell at me, and he came in and decided to <laughs> assault you from behind. That was uh, a terrible An movie. honest I'm fraud sure says nobody works the yeah. middle like Brian. It's true. You, that's not you. fair. I work the middle so hard. So uh, I, I you practice are so it. So offended. I right practice now. it in the mirror. <laughs> I do things that make straight men uncomfortable. I'm so good at working the middle. Work it. No. Show me. No, it's too you late. You take back I'll your show crown. You, later. you take back your crown. Do no. it. No. Do it. <laughs> do it. I don't respond well with There's a treat at in all. it. There's a treat in it. Really? There's a treat in <laughs> it. There's a treat? Do it. There's a treat in it. Yeah. Boy, you are white. <laughs> well, everybody likes milk. I'm like sweating right now, by the way. That's what Sorry. happens when you put a lot of thought into things. That's true. Dateline! Capybara. I think that's how you say it. Picture 04. Although he's extremely loyal and a perfect gentleman in public, this animal is territorial at home. Look at this fucking thing. That is not a real wow. animal. I swear to God it is. You when, photoshopped that. No, I didn't. This woman is the hamster? largest rodent on the planet. When did Ellen DeGeneres get a giant hamster? I know, we were all. <laughs> I didn't see the girl. Oh, well, that's. Can we put when that picture back? When did Ellen DeGeneres. Up? That's Ellen DeGeneres, if I ever seen Put Joy Behar yeah, on her lap. <laughs> no. Uh, look at that thing. That's a. Wow. That's not photoshopped. And what is that exactly? It's called a capybara. And listen, does anybody know how to pronounce that? If you send me the phonetic uh, pronunciation of that, I'll say it. But I think it's capybara, and it's a real. It's a, it looks like a pig, really, with yeah. fur. It's a gerbil? It's a capybara. But what family is it from? From the Rodente family. Mm, phylum. That's how I like my pasta. It's in the same phylum as R-O-U-S's. Anybody know what that's from? <laughs> Boom! Who wants to hear my impression? Who am I? Who am I? Ready? Oh, he didn't hear it. He said rodents of unusual size. Yeah. It's from, who is this from Princess Bride? Iocane powder. You like the sniffing part. <laughs> that's what you liked. Who was that? It was Prince Humperdinck. That's Prince Humberding. I know it anywhere. He was a douche. <clears throat> Capybara, how cute is that thing? Uh, I don't not think that's cute, cute uh, it's at all. It's not cute all. at all. It's frightening. It, it eats grass, uh, and it's a semi-aquatic animal. It requires daily dips in the pool or another body of water. Hello. What? All right. Uh, want a piece of trivia? Sure. Um. Oh, by the way, feel, you know, feel free to answer this. I, I've been trying, and you killed my last answer. I have well, to. It was just wrong. I the have Olympic to make torch? them really hard. Not even, that's, I thought you were doing segues because we're It's not an American Olympics. thing. It's uh -oh. a Grecian thing. If, if any country were to own it. Uh, okay. I was going to say the Washington Monument. It's not. Oh, my God. Oh, why that, is... What? Answer it. We what? get phone I, calls I don't know here? how. I guess so. Hello? The Weekly News. The Weekly News. Hello? The Weekly News. Shut the thing. Shut the phone. Shut the phone. <laughs> it's dead air. You have the wrong number. There you go. Uh, don't call here. And also, why is that even ringing? And why is she getting text messages from number? this number? <laughs> where's the number? And why are we all so scared that the phone was ringing? We were like, <laughs> wow. Well, Brian, what was that? Because anything, hey, that, anything that isn't a cell phone that rings is frightening at our generation. That's technology. <laughs> we were taking phone calls yesterday. And, and we just un never unhooked and it? And you started texting some girl? Like, yeah. religiously? Yeah, that's it. That's she it. wants you to stop. I keep getting pictures of Jared. some guy's wiener. That's me. She wants Sorry. you to stop. Well, it's given. <laughs> All right, do a piece of your trivia, and don't take wow. any more calls from garbage. Okay, uh, what cooking liquid can melt real pearls? Canola oil. No. Isopropyl alcohol. No. Love. Lard. Love? He, he said, said lard. lard. Uh, I, thought, I thought Eliza said love. Uh, I no, did say love. Cookies 
a Mitch, a Mick, whatever. Got it right. It's vinegar. I was getting to vinegar. No, well, you it were breaks eventually down going to get to vinegar because I made it a very specific. I don't care for your attitude this week <laughs> at all, man. Um, Gina, eighty one, eighty nine, got it right too. But by the way, first. is Gina Elia or Leah in the chat room? Uh, I don't see any. I make it. A, what? Does it get any hot chicks in the chat room? Well, yeah, we them. have like three. Hot chicks? Yeah. Just send us a picture of one half of your nipple. Don't call him here, though. We're not taking calls. I think I made that perfectly clear. I'll put clear. my number up. <laughs> um, Gina, Elia, or Elia, however you say it. Okay. Oh, I thought you were going to do it. I was no, like, that's fucking that's crazy? punk rock. That's great. No, that's all I need. Gina, Elia, she came to my show. I was at Helium Club, the Helium Comedy Club in uh, Philadelphia. Sold, sold out a bunch of shows and Valentine's Day show. No biggie. With Shane Moss, very talented comic. Uh, she came to my show. We took pictures. They're on my Facebook. I love when you guys come to the shows. And she said PR. Old school. And her nipple was out? No, she was. She kept oh, it concealed. Wow, it was okay. so cold in Philadelphia. Yes, it is Gina Leah. That's says. the Windy What's City. Up? This and this is the guy that thought the torch was an American <laughs> oh, mobile stop. monument. Oh, I know it's the. He knew Eliza it. Becca Patterson love, says PR. Called. City of Brotherly Love. Yes. No, what? PR. Becca Patterson says PR. PR. Let's get to a segment we like to do called "Who Should Be Shot." Yay! <laughs> I don't have any graphics for this because I decided to do it last minute because sometimes we don't like to talk about, in case you want to know, we don't really like to talk about celebrities on this show unless they're super hot and not wearing shirts and they play for like an Italian soccer team. But talk about that's me very specific to you. Mm-hmm. It's very specific to me and I what I enjoy. That. It's actually relatives of your family, Alexis. Um, <laughs> we, sometimes a celebrity will stick in your craw so much and that's not something that we enjoy voluntarily. Uh, the other delightful. day, Tila Tequila, I'm only saying the name once, so this can't be like, oh, reference on the show. She put this thing, like, she was claiming that she was pregnant by the rapper The Game, which is impossible because she's been dating Casey Johnson, who just died. I was going to say, yeah. She's, this girl is the worst. Completely talentless. Like, not even, oh, maybe she's remotely attractive. Maybe she is. I don't know. You'd probably I, throw her one. I, I, no, I think she's uh, insanely ugly. Have you met her? I feel like you... I, I've never met her, and um, I don't get her at all. I don't get her, I don't get it, and so she the thing about it, she's like, I'm pregnant, and then she started, I, there were these Twitters, um, I think I'm gonna subscribe to her Twitter because, because who hasn't? Get it? No, uh, she, there were these Twitters, she was like, I just fell and hit my head, I think I have a concussion. Oh my God, you guys, should I call the, should I call an ambulance? What if I die? And then there was a Twitter that said, this is Tila's manager. Tila's not doing well and in the hospital. Please pray for her. Who, well, as they're dying, is like, oh, I better chronicle this and yeah. Twitter it. Well, she's also did that thing when her girlfriend died about, please pray for my wifey or whatever the hell she yeah. was talking about. She's a moron. She's, I mean, that's basically it. And whoever has watched her show is a moron for making her show successful. So, stupid people. Begs the question, who should be shot, Tila Tequila or her pathetic audience? I, I say the say, audience. I would say the audience and just put an M60 in front of them and mow them down. Nice. I like yes. maybe you should come to our show more. Unless often. you're going to watch The Master Debater with Phil Verone. I feel like you would vote Tea Party. I feel like you're part of the I feel like you I am not a Tea Party person. No. No. I feel like you're, because you said the M16 thing, I feel like you're into militias and... No, I'm, I, I actually support the president, and I'm not a nut job, and I think that people who think that the world is going to change overnight are morons, and I they should be agree. mowed down. I mean, it does, there's nobody that's going to get into office and change the United States. Especially given the, not that I'm a huge, it's not even that, especially given the mess he came into, give the guy a break, whether yeah. you like him or not, you got to give him a fair chance. Uh, Tila Tequila, however... The worst, maybe ever. I would love for her to see this. I would love to physically fight her, but I would also love to challenge her to debate. First one to say, first one to, to say Von Dutch has to cut the, off their hair. The reason why I did not get my order right at McDonald's is because Tila Tequila has uh, had a hit show. And the same reason why Jersey Shore is hit is a hit. We have morons in the country that watch this crap and makes it famous. And you don't need any talent or skill. And then there's people out there that actually wait, have wait. talent and were overlooked, and that stuff isn't greenlit because we have to greenlight. You know, people that are on reality short. shows are jerks. Without a doubt, without a doubt. So um, I, a I do show. also <laughs> want to say though, it's it's a tough call, her or her audience. But even if she didn't have her audience, people would still be running into her, and she'd be the same horrible person. Oh she no, 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 every day. Uh, yeah, but so it I wouldn't think affect she us. Die. There are I think we should just all- go to the root. There are douchebags all over the world, and I'm not affected by them because it's it's contained. Because we live in L.A. It's we live in their own microcosm. The she's she's a bad person. I hope she dies. Said it. Wow. Don't care. Wow. And I said, someone please shoot her the other day on Twitter, and it's the most responses I've ever got. They were like, oh, I totally agree. No one likes this girl except for creepy, like, 50-year-old guys that live in basements. 
She's not going to sleep with you. I, I she find, will probably. What I find about it, too, though, is that guys who think that she's good looking obviously have never seen women. It's like, you know, Tila Tequila is not the first creation that's come off the conveyor belt with tits and a pussy. I mean, I like just, that you said conveyor belt. Well, because it's like, you know, like, oh my God, it's a woman. Are those boobs? I got to, you know, it's like, give me a break already. I mean, these guys got to, like, get out of the house. Tila Tequila is not like the, you know. She's the, she's the reason our society, she's disgusting. the reason we're in a recession. Yeah. She is uh, the reason that we had a Holocaust. What? Drink Moxie says if Tila te- 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 Tequila. Moxie wasn't on TV, she would have died years ago in an alley. All Let's right. hope so. so well, then, that's so a gross abortion. The person that put her on TV should die then. Well, the producers, actually, that's the, because these people, they, they go <clears> looking <throat> for it. So the producers and her audience, who the producers, I might work with one day, but yeah, I'll say it, you're bad the people. The producers might be. <laughs> they might be uh, giving out shows. Yeah, um, that's, uh, that's a. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Well, you know what, though, but anybody, <laughs> listen, you know, if, if uh, a hit show like that, nobody really. It's not a hit show, and I saw it on oh, DVD at Best Buy the other day. Yeah, I don't even know. Was it a hit show? I don't even know. It's all uh, I know it was on. Shot Some, of VD well, with Tila Whatever Tila. it was, a good show got pushed aside to green light that show. Uh, no, a good like the yeah. probably like Bad Girls Club got pushed aside or something. Uh, Complete Seven awful. says my mother died because of Tila Tequila. Thank you. Anything bad it's in your life, sad. you can blame on Tila Tequila, and that's Anything. my platform yeah. for running for office. I like blame it. it on Tila Tequila. She's Vote for haunches. Vote for haunches this year in, in 011. It's time for change. Work the middle and vote for haunches. Do you have any more trivia? Uh, yeah. What vitamin does our skin produce when it's exposed to C. sun? E. D. E. C. You can't just name letters. It's E. D. C. Uh, D. C. 2600 got it right. It's vitamin D. I said D. You were just naming letters. No, no I was between. Your boobs. He said E. First of all, that's double D. Second of all, double D, everyone. E obviously doesn't. That's stupid. I don't Crunch go out in the sun. Look at me. You haven't given a valid boom. answer since we started. I have given valid answers. And you're gonna I told run a you show? that there's no snow in Vancouver, and you said I was a li- I was a liar until that wasn't the, an answer. The Canadian over there that said that. That was a, an opinion. This man should be trusted fact. to run his own show. We don't base opinions on facts. You base them on heart. Well, I gave you a fact on fact. Fact on fact action. <laughs> fact on fact. <laughs> Uh, do you have any? Okay, I did say D. I get the prize. Derek at H said it first. He says so. Mm. Is this over yet? <laughs> oh my God, We're, we have to go. Uh, wait, I feel like I had something more to say about Tila Tequila and what a bad person she is. I think we can lay off today. We have another show. Oh, but I have so much hate. To... Actually, our show next week is at a different time. Do you want to talk about that? No, because we're not doing it next week. You're not I've doing it next pushed. week. Oh, been oh. Bumped. You know we're not going to be you, here next week. If you want, you can come on the Master Debater with Phil Verona, and we could talk about Tila Tequila. But you and That'd I agree. We can do this all night long. <laughs> That's February 27th, Saturday, 27th? 6 p.m. live. Your show's on Saturday? Saturday at 6 p.m. Because we have a studio audience coming in here because that's how popular I am. And See on my first show, lasts. you ask me who's on my first show, I'll tell you. I did ask you. The great Mo Collins from Mad TV. And, oh, uh, she's very funny. Yes, from 40 Year Old Virgin. I have, that's like Gina. Uh, hey, now. Gina. I also have the, the very talented Skippy Green. You know Skippy. I do know Skippy. Skippy's coming on. And, of course, I have uh, Jason Miller from Godhead. He'll be the musical guest. And I have a large-breasted... Web if you model. say Tila Tequila, I'm going to shoot you. No, I have a web you. model with like triple E boobs who wants to talk about why guys want to come over and have sex with her, but they won't take her out for dinner. Shoot her. No. There's no place for this in our society. Yes, well, and we will debate that. We're going to debate great things on my show. I have things lined up. It's going to be wild. You got your show like you're Saturday. You got, you got screwed. I didn't get screwed. I actually picked the Saturday. Yeah, after Brian had sex with me, he said, Saturday will be very good for you. And I said, you know what? You're the producer. And the money's on the dresser. Yes. Folks, that's Phil Verone. That was Alexis. Somewhere in there is our production crew. You guys, this has been the Weekly News with the hard-hitting facts that hold you after. TBD for the show next week. But we will be back. We're going to do a lot of shows this year. It's going to be fucking awesome. Thank you for tuning in. For the hard-hitting facts that hold you after, I'm Eliza. That's been Blanche. Thank you for watching the Weekly News. Only on the stream.tv. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>